sexy and terrific day to you kids. Together, we'll explore, discover, and find answers to the mysteries of the world through science. I am your grade 5 super science teacher, Vivian. Today, we will learn about the properties of materials and why it is important to understand these in using and handling them. Are you excited? Let's go! Join me! Let's enter the kingdom where fun and exciting learning experiences are about to happen. Only here at Dep Ed TV. I will be flashing a scrambled word on the screen. Guess what the correct word is. Are you ready? Great! What word is this? This word is matter. Did you get it? Very good. Can you still remember what is matter? Let's recall. Matter is defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. All objects that we deal every day are all matter. They take up space and they also have mass. As discussed in your science 3, matter comes into different phases, which can be solid, liquid, and gas. Other phases of matter will be discussed in your higher science subject. Oops! Where do you think are we now? We are in a kitchen. For sure, you all have seen and even used a cooking pot. But can you name some properties of the materials used in making cooking pots? Children, take a look at it. It may or may not look exactly the same as that in your homes, but the parts are usually made of the same materials. The cooking pot that you are seeing has a body made of metal, a cover made of glass, and handles are fitted with plastic. Let's go back to our classroom and discuss what we have seen in the kitchen. But before we go to the properties of the materials used in making cooking pots, I'd like you to think of the answers to the following questions. Number 1. Why are most cooking pots made of metal? Number 2. What will happen if the cooking pot is made of wood, plastic, or paper? Number 3. What will happen if the cooking pot is made of concrete, which is a mixture of cement, water, and sand? Number 4. Why are the handles of the cooking pot fitted with plastic? Number 5. Why is the cover of the cooking pot made of glass? I know you have your own answers in mind. Before we check, let us know first what properties mean and its two kinds. Properties are the external and internal characteristics of an object. There are two kinds of properties of matter. First, we have the physical properties that refer to the characteristics of matter that can be observed or measured without changing its composition. Some examples are malleability, flexibility, brittleness, elasticity, waterproofness, and thermal conductivity. The second one is the chemical properties that refer to the internal composition of matter that can be measured and observed when matter undergoes change to become an entirely different substance. Some examples are toxicity, reactivity, flammability, and combustibility. Did you get it? More of that as we continue with our discussion. Let's check your answers and watch out for the terms that relate to the properties of materials. Are you ready? 
Let's go back to question number one. Why are most cooking pots are made of metal? Most cooking pots are made of metal because unlike wood, glass, or plastic, metals can be hammered into different shapes without breaking. This property of metals that makes them easy to shape, such as the cooking pot's body, is called malleability. Cooking usually involves water as an ingredient, and metal, like glass and plastic, are waterproof. This property that enables the metal cooking pot to prevent the liquid ingredients of what is being cooked from leaking refers to its waterproofness. Let's discuss your answer for question number two. What will happen if the cooking pot is made of wood, plastic, or paper? If the cooking pot is made of wood, plastic, or paper, it will burn because when cooking pot is used to cook food, it is placed over fire. While cooking pots, which are made of metal, do not easily burn. It can withstand the heat. Wood, paper, and plastic are examples of materials that easily burn. The property of materials that determines whether or not they will easily burn is called combustibility. When cooking, pots are usually placed over fire. Metals can withstand the heat and metals allow the heat from the fire to pass through into what is being cooked. The property of materials that determines whether or not heat can easily pass through the material is called thermal conductivity. A related but different property, which is differentiated from combustibility, in terms of the ease with which a combustible material can be ignited, is referred as flammability. How about the answer for question number 3? What will happen if the cooking pot is made of concrete, which is a mixture of cement, water, and sand? The answer is no. It will take a longer time to cook the food because heat cannot easily pass through it. Concrete is not as good a thermal conductor as metals. Another important consideration in cooking is to make sure that the material of the cooking pot does not react with the ingredients of the food of being cooked. The property of materials that refers to their ability to undergo chemical reaction with other materials is known as reactivity. Most metals are non-reactive, so it will not undergo chemical reaction with the ingredients that may cause poisoning, making them safe as materials for making cooking pots. It is important to use safe cookware when preparing food. Toxicity is the property of a material to which a chemical substance or a particular mixture of substances can damage or harm an organism. How about question number 4? Why are the handles of the cooking pot fitted with plastic? The poor thermal conductivity of a certain materials like plastic is also the reason why handles of the cooking pot are fitted with plastic. Because heat cannot easily pass through plastic. In some cooking pots, rubber is used. Aside from being a good insulator, rubber also has the ability to be stretched and return to its original shape when the stress is removed, a property called elasticity. Again, elasticity is the ability of a material to be stretched and return to its original shape when the stress is removed. Lastly, for question number 5, why is the cover of a cooking pot made of glass? The cover of a cooking pot is made of certain kind of glass so that one can easily see what is going on inside because glass is transparent. Transparency is the ability of a material that allows light to pass through without so much scattering. 
Unlike plastic, which easily deforms when heated, glass is hard and can resist deformation. However, unlike metal, which does not break easily, glass is fragile. Brittleness is a property which refers to being both hard and fragile. Now that you are familiar with the properties of materials, let's try what you've got. Let's identify the object in terms of brittleness, combustibility, thermal conductivity, and toxicity. Put a check on the box that closely describes the materials. Object number one is a ceramic mug. Let's identify its properties one by one. Ceramic is made up of a mixture of clay, water, and powder. Is it hard and flexible or hard and fragile? It is hard and fragile. It easily breaks when accidentally pushed. As to combustibility, is ceramic mug combustible or non-combustible? The answer is non-combustible. Ceramics like plant pots, figurines, and cups do not easily burn. How about as to its thermal conductivity? Does it allow heat to pass through? It's a poor conductor of heat. Therefore, it's an insulator. When it comes to its toxicity, is ceramic mug toxic or non-toxic? It's a non-toxic material. In fact, we use plates, bowls, and cups which are made of ceramic. Let's move on to object number two, a wooden hanger. A wooden hanger is made of wood. Is it hard and fragile or hard and flexible? It is hard and fragile. A wooden hanger is breakable. In terms of combustibility, do you think it will burn or not? Remember, it's a wood. Of course, it will burn. Therefore, it's combustible. What about in terms of thermal conductivity? Does it allow heat to pass through? No, it's not. Therefore, it's an insulator. How about its toxicity? Is it toxic or non-toxic? Wood is non-toxic. In fact, some of our kitchen utensils are made of wood. And for the last object, we have a mineral plastic bottle. Is it hard and fragile or hard and flexible? It is hard and flexible. It does not break easily. When in terms of combustibility, is it combustible or non-combustible? It is combustible. Plastic is an example of a combustible material. Does it allow heat to pass through? It is not a good conductor of heat. Therefore, it's an insulator. That is why handles of a cooking pot are fitted with plastic. Next, is it toxic or non-toxic? It is a non-toxic material. We even used food containers which are made of plastic. Perfect! Are you still with me? Good! Based on the properties mentioned a while ago, let's identify the physical properties and the chemical properties. The following are the common physical properties of materials. We have hardness, brittleness, flexibility, elasticity, waterproofness, thermal conductivity, and malleability. They showed characteristics of matter that can be observed or measured without changing its composition. How about the common chemical properties? We have combustibility, flammability, toxicity, and reactivity. This group of properties are observed or measured when matter undergoes change to become an entirely different substance. 
Now, I want you to sit back, listen, and relax for a moment. I have a friend named Maria. Are you excited to meet her? Lend me your ears and eyes as I begin to introduce her. Maria is a grade 5 learner. Let's say, Hi, Maria! Hi, Maria! Do you know what Maria needs? Maria is here to ask help from us. She needs help in making her assignment. I want to help Maria. Would you want to help her too? Is it a yes? Very good. Her assignment goes this way. If you were to make a toy, what would you want to make and what materials would you use so that it will be safe to play and durable at the same time? Make a drawing of this toy and explain why would you use the materials that you have identified. Do you have an idea, children? Let's see what Maria wants. Oh, I guess she wants a doll. Children, let's bring it on. Let's help Maria. Maria's doll is made of rubber. It is safe to play because it is soft, flexible, and durable. It does not break easily as well. The head and shoes of Maria's doll is made of plastic. It is flexible and waterproof. The dress of Maria's doll is made of cloth, which is soft so that when it tears, she can just sew it. When it's dirty or has stain, she can just wash it. Now, let's give this to Maria. How was that, children? Did you enjoy helping Maria? If you are, give me a smile. Before we end this lesson, let's try to test yourself. Read each question carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which common property is evident when crown caps or tension can be hammered into sheets to make a doormat or an improvised tambourine? A. Elasticity B. Flexibility C. Hardness D. Malleability Number 2. Why cooking pots are not made of wood, plastic, or paper? Children, choose the correct statement or statements below. 1. Wood, plastic, and paper are combustible. They will burn when placed over fire. 2. Papers will absorb water and easily get wet. 3. Plastics will melt when exposed to too much heat. 4. Woods are not good conductors of heat. It will not cook the food. A. One only. B. Two and three. C. Two, three, and four. D. One, two, three, and four. Number three. Which solid material below is a good thermal conductor? A. Aluminum foil B. Paper C. Plastic bottle D. Wine glass Number 4. Which of the following solid materials has the ability to be stretched and can return to its original shape when stress is removed? A. Mirror B. Rubber band C. Sponge D. Wood Number 5. Which of the following properties describes the ability of a material to resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in shape? A. Malleability B. Elasticity C. Flexibility D. Hardness Are you done? Let's check your answer. Number 1. If your answer is letter D, malleability, you are correct. 
Malleability is the ability of a material that can be hammered into sheets without breaking. Number 2. If your answer is letter D, statements 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all correct, that's another point for you. Cooking pots are not made of wood, plastic, or paper because they are combustible. They will burn when placed over fire. Number 3. If your answer is letter A, aluminum foil, you are correct. That is because metals like aluminum are good conductors of heat. They absorb heat very easily. Number 4. If your answer is letter B, rubber band, you are correct. Rubber band has the ability to be stretched and return to its original shape when the stress is removed. Lastly, we go to number 5. If you answered letter D, hardness, perfect! You got it right! Hardness is the ability of a material to resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in shape. Did you get a perfect score? Wow! Let's all clap for ourselves! You did a great job! That's the end of our lesson. I hope you've learned something new today. This is your grade 5 super science teacher, Vivian. Always remember, make it a habit to study. It works! Till next time, bye!